Are you a parent that has a kid with ADHD or are you an adult that has ADHD and you've been trying to search online of what types of vitamins that you should be implementing more on a daily basis to help with your ADHD? But there's a lot of miscommunication out there and not sure and you've been told by lots of people, try this, try this, try this, but just not sure. So I'm going to try to make it simplified and break it down as far as what vitamins you can implement that could be helpful for if you have ADHD. Hi everybody, I am Dr. Legrand and I have ADHD and dyslexia. I grew up with it and on this channel I've decided to designate this channel specifically for people who have ADHD or if you're a parent that has ADHD and need more information about what you can implement as far as nutrition, you know, also other strategies for school techniques and things that you can implement to help with your child or for yourself if you have ADHD to implement more of. So if you have not already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. And then if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and hit the notification bell because that will notify you when I actually upload my next videos. So diving right in, in my last previous video, if you haven't checked that out, I'll leave a link right above here as far as what nutrients you should be implementing for ADHD, especially for the brain. And I talked about, you know, a little bit as far as, you know, the brain needs lots of different nutrients. And we talked about more of the macronutrients of things that you should be implementing more. These are things that you're going to look at more of different vitamins to be implementing more that can be helpful. And the brain does rely on a lot of these things. And sometimes we can be deficient on it. And if we are deficient, sometimes this can help resolve a lot of the symptoms that we get with ADHD when it comes to inattention becomes with fatigue or having a hard time paying attention or focusing, as well as getting that brain fog or even just getting in a state where you or mind is just wandering too much or you tend to be more hyperactive. These are things that can be helpful to implement more of if you are tend to be deficient. Now, just like with anything, you always should check with your doctor first before you implement any kind of new treatment plan because sometimes there could be some contraindications. So you always want to make sure you talk with your doctor first. The very first vitamin that I want to talk about is vitamin C. So vitamin C, if you tend to be deficient in it, it can be helpful the reason why is because vitamin C is actually a very crucial nutrient for neurotransmitters. Now, neurotransmitters, we're talking about like dopamine, serotonin, norepinephrine, epinephrine. These types of neurotransmitters are very important when it comes to ADHD. They tend to be more lacking with people with ADHD. That's why a lot of the medications help improve upon this. But these are types of nutrients like vitamin C that actually helps with the process of making these types of neurotransmitters. So if there tends to be a deficiency in this, sometimes supplementing this can be helpful. The next vitamin would be implementing B vitamins. So like vitamin B6 or B12, these types of vitamins, when we find people to be more deficient, they'll tend to have low energy. They also will have a lack of be able to actually focus very well. They tend to be a little bit more inattentive. But when you actually implement vitamin B6 and B12, those can actually improve energy energy, but it also helps the process of dopamine. And when we increase levels of dopamine, this can help with alertness. And so therefore vitamin B vitamins can be very helpful if you tend to be deficient in these types of vitamins. The next nutrient is iron. And I've talked about this in my channel before is that there is a significant amount of people, especially with ADHD, that can have low iron levels. In fact, a study showed that 84% of people with ADHD tended to have low levels of ferritin, which has to do with iron, versus the control group that had 18% had low levels of ferritin. So you can see that really this could be a big important thing to check with your child or if you're an adult that has ADHD to be able to see, okay, maybe I do have low levels of ferritin and iron that have been missed. And by supplementing an iron or getting it more into your food, this can sometimes help resolve with inattention, help resolve with the fatigue that you might have been experiencing or the lack of motivation. These are things that could be helpful, and I see it all the time with my patients, by checking this because it's so significant, especially prevalent amongst people who have ADHD. Another vitamin that can be really helpful is zinc. Zinc actually helps the process of neurotransmitters. It helps regulate neurotransmitters, and so it can be a very important type of vitamin that if it is low has been shown to be able to not have a good sufficiency of neurotransmitters. So by supplementing zinc, sometimes that can be helpful if you tend to be more deficient in it. The last vitamin I want to talk about is magnesium. Now, magnesium is actually a very crucial electrolyte, not just for the brain, but for the rest of the body. It is an electrolyte that we rely on for communicating, for actually moving things 
back and forth as far as making the body function properly it is a very crucial type of electrolyte. And it's a type of electrolyte that we do tend to be more deficient than the others like sodium. We get a lot in our diet. Same with potassium. Sometimes you can be low in potassium, but magnesium that I've found is tends to be a little bit lower on people, especially with people with ADHD. So by supplementing something like magnesium, because what it does, it helps with communication and the brain. So it helps, it can help with being more alert, me more focused, be able to pay attention more in class, things like that. But Again, if you are not deficient in it, you might not see a big difference, but if you tend to be really deficient in it, especially if you have very low electrolytes and you start supplementing things like this, it can be helpful. So I hope this was beneficial to you guys. If you have any further questions about what vitamins you should be taking or what can be helpful for ADHD, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. And if you are new here, in our next video, we're actually going to talk about different types of supplements other than just vitamins that could be helpful for ADHD. So if you don't want to miss out on that video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button over here if you haven't already. And then check out these other videos that I've talked about different nutrients that can be helpful for ADHD as well as what other foods you can avoid when it comes to ADHD. So until next time, this is Dr. Legrand signing out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.